Dave, to, um, can you just take us into the decision to go with Michael Kopech for the start with this one tonight? Um, I, I think we just all felt that, um, you know, it, it's, it's a part of the lineup that we like Michael. Um, he's started games before and um, just feel it's the best chance to put up a zero in the first inning and then kind of move forward. How important, just when you look at the approach for this game, does it feel like, yes, you could go to game seven, but does it feel like it needs to be done today? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, I think that's the way, the best way to approach tonight's game. Um, I think, you know, overall, you know, we're playing good baseball. I, I think outside of two um, bad innings, um, it's been really good. So I think that, you know, seeing uh, Manaya a handful of days ago bodes, bodes well for us, and we just got to go out there and take good at bats and, um, you know, it's going to be a pen day, so we're going to, you know, deploy a lot of different guys tonight. Fabian. Yeah, Dave, what ultimately went into not having Friday in there today? Um, he, he just kind of ultimately, he just felt, we felt that um, giving him another day is best for him, uh, potentially having him late for an at-bat, but the defense, um, he, he took batting practice yesterday, felt fine, but uh, just doesn't feel like himself. So we just felt that potentially another day would help. And then Manaya is a reverse splits guy. Was there any thought to having Lux at second today? No, Gavin's still not even. It's I think that it's you know it's reverse, but I think you have to also appreciate the left-handers that do face Manaya. Um, and Gavin hasn't faced a lot of lefties. Number one, and also number two, he's not 100%. So if, if we can buy him another day, I think it's beneficial. Um, but he's, still, he's available, and I do expect him in the game today, though. We'll go to Jack on the front right. Uh, obviously, you guys were planning to have bullpen games this series. Was Kopech somebody you looked at coming into this that was an option to open, or is this something that over the last couple of days and coming out of game two became more of a, an idea for you guys? I think uh, kind of given our options today, we felt that Kopech was the best option. So I think that to your first question, was it a thought, you know, a week ago? Probably not. And then how uh, like willing are you going to be to push some guys like for multiple innings today to try to get the coverage you need versus balancing if there is a game tomorrow, what that might mean? That's, that's, uh, that's something that we're all going to have to wait and see how the game plays out, and that'll dictate that. But that's something that certainly has to be in my mind as well, for sure. A few more for Dave. Go to Carrie on the right. Dave, uh, Andy Pa has sort of introduced himself to the national stage the other day with his bat. But how about that arm and how that helps neutralize the, the, the running game? He, he's done a great job um, being able to get his first taste of postseason baseball, playing uh, a big role. Um, the bat, certainly, as you mentioned, Kerry, but the defense, he's been really good out there defensively, and the arm strength, the accuracy has saved a couple runs, actually. So uh, it, it's been a deterrent um, to score runs from third base on a potential sack fly, but he's done a great job. It's been good and excited to have him in there tonight as well. Go to Tim, four rows up in the middle. After how Otani looked against Manaya last time, how easy or not easy is it to make an adjustment to a funky kind of delivery? I, I, I think it's uh, I, I think it's not easy. I, I do think that Shohei will make that adjustment. Um, I, I think that pitching in the day, um, ball coming out of center field, might have had something to do with it too, kind of like off the hitter's eye. Um, the night game I think will be beneficial. Um, and also just the familiarity, because it's a funky look. Um, but also, I think that uh, Manaya made some really good pitches uh, down and away um, with the fastball to Shohei. But yeah, if he makes a mistake, uh, she'll be ready to hit it. We'll go back to Jack on the right. Obviously, you guys have had success against Manaya in years past. What, like, what is it about him right now that's so different? Is it just the arm slot? Does he attack you guys in a different way? Like, what did you see the other day from him? It's a, it's a slot. Um, I, I think the slot. You know, you can have the same pitch mix, but the characteristics are different. It's more um, sweepy, which is, makes it tougher on the right-hand hitter coming into you versus more kind of two to seven on the breaking ball. Uh, the fastball kind of has a little bit more rise, 
um, than it was when it was traditionally three quarters. So it's just a different look that, you know, the more familiar you get with it, the better you, you have a chance. But he still, yeah, he's, he's uh, kind of reinvented himself, which is very unique, Perfect. especially in the middle of a season. Sorry, we'll go to the third row on the left. To deal with that funky slot, did any hitters face him on the traject pitching machine? Yes, uh, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Was Shohei one of those? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> any last ones for Dave? All right, Doc, we'll see you post-game. All right, thank you.